Hi, my name is Patrick, and I know nothing about car care. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Detailing 101. This is the fifth take of trying to film this. Let's make sure it's a good one. Yes, we're in the same clothes. That's because we've been filming this all in one day. So far, we've washed the car down using our ultimate waterless wash and wax. We've then removed the above surface contaminants using our clay bar system. Yep. So that means that we've created a nice smooth surface to then remove the subsurface defects, scratches and swells. Now, not all of the scratches have been removed, um, solely because we could feel them with our fingernail. Now, if your fingernail catches on a scratch, then unfortunately it will need painting. Um, but what we've done is we've started to really kind of get that paint looking a good, you know, 70, 80% better, which in an environment like this, if you can get the car looking awesome in our detailing bay, outside it's gonna look awesome. So we used our ultimate compound. We did it by hand and by machine. You can see that in the previous video to see the different kind of finishes you get. Yep. Um, but we overall decided that for us, doing it with a machine was more efficient and more time saving. So now we've revived the paint, we want to start refining it. And that's using Ultimate Polish. This is gorgeous. What we're really covering on here is the basics. And again, if, if you are well into your detailing and you know the basics of car care, maybe it's not the video for you. But if you are new to this, you're new to Meguiar's, you're new to our processes and products, this can be a great introduction to our different shampoos, different processes, and little things like two bucket method and grit guards. What's your best polish? That's a, that's a question we hear a lot at car shows. So what is your best polish? So for us, we need to find out what that person means by polish. It could mean scratch removal, it could mean protection. Yep. But for when Meguiar's talks about polish, when we talk about polish and what we want out of the polish, yep. it's gloss. So we want to enhance gloss. Now this car already looks good because we've compounded it. Yep. We want to make it even better. We want to give that rich, deep gloss shine. That's where we're going to use the ultimate polish. Absolutely. Let's crack on. Let's not talk any more in this intro because it is slowly starting to hurt me. If you're not only part of the Meguiar's UK YouTube channel, then hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for what will be an exciting session on Detailing 101. So, ultimate polish. Is this a similar step to compounding? Not really, no. So the compounding is, is, is hard. It's not hard work, but it's doing the hard work. Uh, so what it's doing, it's exfoliating the skin of the surface and removing those hardened kind of scratching swells, whereas this, it's a bit more gentle. It's a bit more, it's a bit more kind of like a... Like a... a but if I do this down camera, is that weird? <laughs> so it's, it's a moisturizer. It is moisturizing the paint and giving it that rich, deep gloss. It's a pina colada. I've never been caught in the rain because I don't go out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the paint, we've got it to a good, healthy point where we're happy with the revival. Yeah. Now I want to talk about the refinement. So, again, we're going to use this big machine. Um, so because, we, you know, we've done the hard work, we want to make it as easy as possible and using the polish of the machine is super easy. It's time efficient as well. Exactly that. So we're using it with our softer yellow pad. So we've gone from our kind of cutting pad, the firmer pad, yep. to a kind of middle ground. Each time we step up in kind of process, we're going to use less products, less time, less effort. So it's win-win. Yeah? Absolutely. So I'm still going to prime the pad with polish, but I'm just, just not going to use as much. We talked earlier about breaking up the surface area. Yeah. So when we were compounding, we kind of broke this into four. Now because we're polishing, we can do more surface area because it's not working the surface as much. So we're going to do half the bonnet at a time. Okay. Tiny dots. As you can see, we're not really using a great deal. I know no. we've primed it beforehand, but we only do that the once. Again, cable over my shoulder. Stamp out the work area. So we're going to do this whole entire half. Set the speed to the slowest on the machine to spread the products. As you know, with each process, we've been priming the surface and the pad. So on here, we've got waxing and polishing. Three eight to four eight. So I like to go in the middle of those. Okay. Again, we're going to do our hashtag polishing. Left and right, up and down. Start and stop the machine, always on the panel. Look. And I just bit my tongue. Stop the machine. <laughs> no pressure whatsoever. Because we're slowing the machine down, we can go quicker. Okay. Yeah.
as always, start and stop the pad on the panel. Always. You're welcome. We're going to take one of our softer plush towels. This is our finishing towel. Um, sometimes with polish, some people can leave it on the surface um, and let it harden. We really don't advise, advise you to do that. It's not because you're just wasting your own time. As soon as you polish an area, just take it straight off. And it's the same with the compound. Yep, just take the, it straight off. Yep. The only time you ever let a, a product dry on the surface is when you're waxing. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, oh it's gorgeous. Yeah. So, five dots, five little dots. Over the shoulder, stamp out the brown kind of down and then take our finishing towel and wipe that baby off. Well there's a big difference isn't it in terms of colour. You might not be able to see it on camera. Exactly that. So the naked eye is awesome. Yeah so it's giving it that wet look, that real kind of depthy gloss shine exactly where you're on the reflective kind of fleck in the paint. It's just boosting everything about the colour that it is. Um, one important thing, I suppose now we're at the end of the process, if you ever polish a car, always be sure to wax it afterwards because it doesn't offer any protection whatsoever. Um, so whenever you do polish a car, um, if you've ever done it without waxing and you've noticed it a few weeks later down the line, it looks exactly how it did before you polished it, it's because you always need to wax it. So that's when we're gonna move on to the next step. Well, yeah, funny you should say that, Dale. We're about to wax the car but in the next video. Right, well, thank you very much, Dale, as always. Guru Dale to the rescue. If you need any technical advice, uh, please feel free to use our contact us page on our UK website. Yep. Uh, you can go through our social media channels, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. Contact us directly. We're always happy to help, whether it's with our products, processes, or anything to do with car care. Absolutely. And make sure you're part of the Maguire's UK YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button and also giving this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Um, the link to the products will be in the description, so if you want to read more about it, then you can. Um, and obviously, it's available in our retail stores as well. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video for Detailing 101. <laughs>